not the hottest it's been, but still very humid, cooling breeze for the players. Will be much welcomed. It's not much shade at the Diodoro Stadium. <laughs> They're in the spotlight and enjoying it very much. Had high hopes of getting to the final and perhaps winning the football seven aside for the first time, Brazil. But instead, here they are in the bronze medal match again. They were fourth in Beijing and fourth in London. And they desperately don't want to be fourth again in front of this partisan home crowd. For the Netherlands, well, three times champions, yes. But not for 20 years. They haven't won a medal since 1996. And they've lost their last two games without scoring a goal. So come into this, perhaps a little short of confidence. I don't think they really ever expected to trouble Ukraine. Can their star player, Thomas klein Luchterbelt inspire them to get a victory against Brazil? who did run Ukraine very close in their final pool match and really attacked Iran bravely at the start of their semi-final. But Iran counter-attacked supremely and the goals kept coming for the Iranian team who will play Ukraine in the final later. For the Dutch, I think a bronze medal would be a supreme achievement. For Brazil, I guess it's the least they expected from this competition. How that plays into the psychology of the two teams, we shall find out. Certainly, Brazil's disappointment having lost the semi-final was far, far greater. Striker Wesley admitted after the match it was hard to think about the bronze medal match at all. So the first match on the final day of competition in the football seven aside. The bronze medal encounter between the Netherlands and Brazil. And those players are desperate to try and make amends to some degree for a hugely disappointing semi-final loss to Iran, which got away from them really quickly. Iran started scoring goals on the counter-attack. They tried to fight back. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And they ended up losing 5-0. Dismay and possibly even a little embarrassment by the end for Brazil. In 48 hours, have they recovered mentally and physically? Or will that man and the Dutch team take a perhaps surprise bronze medal it's going to be fascinating to find out we know what they want though that's for sure the anthems first that of the host nation very shortly but we'll start with the Netherlands
Well, there's still huge pride in Paulo Cabral's Brazil team. Marcel Heestman there, the coach of the Netherlands, who said his team's ambition was just to try and get to the semi-finals and get two chances to win a medal. One's gone, only one remains for them. Fourth in the World Championship last year, the Dutch. Fifth in both Beijing and London. The first Dutch team to play for a medal in football seven aside for two decades. Jorge Barbizan from Argentina is going to take charge with assistance from Spain and Brazil. And we'll see that uh, the Dutch team is the same seven that started against Ukraine in the semi-finals. It was their, their best side. They were outplayed by a brilliant Ukraine team. Jeroen Sat and uh, Thomas klein Lutebelt are the two players who have got on the score sheet in that starting seven. They need a goal, Ilyas Visca might come on, but there seems to be a great atmosphere of relaxation, doesn't there, on the uh, Dutch bench. For Brazil, a couple of changes, and they are significant, because Nascimento, the number six, is back after a suspension in the semi-final. He replaces Igor, and Felipe Gomez replaces Vanderson. The number 10, the uh, attacking star, doesn't always start. Felipe Gomez has taken his place. Might be a more careful Brazil today. Did he over-attack in the semi-final? That defeat will be haunting him. A, Brazil, a bronze medal would be the consolation that they feel they deserve and need, I'm sure, to help get over that heavy loss. He's won medals before. He's at his sixth games, Marcal, the Brazil goalkeeper and captain. So after heavy defeats for both teams in the semi-finals, which seven will recover the most strongly and win the bronze medal here. The Dutch in their traditional orange, Brazil in the very familiar bright yellow colors. And a bronze medal at stake. Here's Minna de Vos for the Netherlands. Crowd really getting into it, and Wesley trying to get them off to the perfect start. Leandrinho, it is the perfect start. 40 seconds. Well, they were hurting after the loss in the semi-final. The first step towards recovery, the first step towards bronze. The first attack of the game. Felipe Gomez won the ball. Wesley found Leandrinho and he placed it beautifully in the corner. And they'll be thinking, maybe, if only they'd scored the first goal against Iran, how much different it might have been. And Leandrinho, the goal scorer, did come awfully close on a couple of occasions to doing just that. And Iran's counter-attacking master plan. Well, they might have been forced to change that particular blu blueprint, but that was another day. And Brazil are on course here immediately for the bronze medal. Leandrinho's fourth goal of the tournament. I still think he could have had an awful lot more. 
It's Fernandez for Brazil. And uh, Klein Lutebelt penalised. Felipe Gomez's role in that goal immediately apparent. Winning the ball high up the pitch for Brazil. They left him out of the semi-final in preference of uh, Randerson. Leandrinho again. He was looking for Wesley out in front of goal. Here is the goal. There's the tackle that got it all going. And from that moment, the Dutch were just playing catch-up. And that finish was... Perfect. Inspired. Got the crowd right into the game again in the way that they couldn't manage in the semi final. But the Dutch now up against it. On and off the field. Klein Lutebelt. A decent ball in, well claimed by Nascimento, and they missed him in the semi-final. Wesley to his right, Leandrinho waiting. Here's Felipe Gomez, and now Fernandez. No offside in football seven aside. Remember. Di Maria on the right with Felipe Gomez, whose first touch was a little bit loose and uh, he clattered into Mino de Vos somewhat. <laughs> Leandrinho again. Uh, good challenge by Klein Lutebelt. And it needed to be for the Netherlands. Rather a careless pass, though, and he's out the game now. Klein Lutebelt, Leandrinho, Di Maria, all the deflection. George Van Altena did really well there. That was not straightforward. Players in his way here, and a little nick off the defender. That's a very good save. Leandrinho is the most prominent player already. Nascimento. Joey Mensa with the clearance. And once again, that shot from distance straight in towards goal. With players in the way of the goalkeeper can be a, a really dangerous tactic. Fernandez now. Nascimento is going to hit it again. All these deflections are flying. <laughs> One side of the posts and then the other. Keeping the goalkeeper very much on edge. Leandrinho. Fernandez. Here we go again. Oh, and he spilt it. And this might be two. Oh! Leandrinho. Somehow contrived to miss it. And that should be two. He got away with one there, George Van Altena. Fernandez, it's all Brazil. Klein Lutebelt, De Vos with the run on the far side. But this is for Joey Mensah, and they, they could do with a, a, putting a few passes together here, the Dutch, to, to try and calm things down somewhat, because they're in danger of getting completely swamped. Brazil do seem to have put the semi-final defeat behind them and are coming out keen to prove themselves. Dan Dicken there was the target of the pass through from Klein Lutebelt, but it meant three Dutch players 
were caught upfield. And here's Leandrinho with the counter. He is a busy man, Van Altena. With the eyebrow, eyebrows greased up, Van Altena, he kind of looks like a boxer going into a scrap. And he's done a few rounds already here. Fernandez for Nascimento. Well, Brazil look determined and thoroughly focused on winning this match and winning it well and entertaining where possible. This is the ninth minute of the game, and Brazil have had nine shots, five on target already. Nothing yet for the men in orange. And for the Dutch, this is their fifth game of the competition, and only once have they scored the opening goal. Super pass by Di Maria. Tried to pick out Felipe Gomez. If they keep this up, they'll have had 60 shots by the end of the match. 30 minutes each way in football seven aside. And there is a plan for extra time in penalties if uh, required. Lars Conheim with the foul there, the Dutch captain. Perhaps the first poor pass that Brazil have, have played in the opening 10 minutes. Can they sustain their excellence? <laughs> Players in football seven aside have uh, coordination impairments. Some have uh, cerebral palsy, others uh, have had a stroke or a brain injury. And there's a classification system for the players. The players don't worry too much about it, I'm sure, but uh, for the coaches it's important. You can only ever have one Class 8 player, that's the least impaired of the four classes on the field at any one time. Felipe Gomez for Brazil. <laughs> tried to wander his way to goal all the way along the goal line. Joey Mensah querying the call with the referee. Here's Wesley, back out to Felipe Gomez, easily away from your own set, who left a, left a leg out there rather deliberately. Can't be easy, this, for the Dutch players. Felipe Gomez, strong to get away from Conine, wasn't he? I don't think it should have been a corner. Anyway, Conine with the clearing header. Felipe Gomez is the Class 8 player on the Brazil team. Fernandes was tripped there by Klein Lutebelt. Well, he was. The referee has said play on. Leandrinho. Nina De Vos on the cover. All the Dutch players back in that grouping of six outfield players. All hands to the pump for the Netherlands at the moment.
no obvious outlet ball at all there. It's a conundrum, and I don't know what the answer is. Some composure, some calm, but Brazil are pressing. Big opportunity this for the Dutch. First Dutch team to play for a medal in the football seven aside since 1996, when they were champions for the third time. But it's Russia and Ukraine have been the dominant sides since then. Leandrinho, Fernandez, Wesley, Klein Lutebel forcefully in. And he's trying to set the tone here, but he had to be a little careful that his clearance didn't whiz in off Fernandez. He's not the captain, Klein Lutebelt, but he is the one that they look to for inspiration. And often that's been in, a, in an attacking sense during this competition, but there he's quite clearly trying to say to his players, come on, let's get a bit closer, let's get a bit tougher here, let's compete a bit more strongly. just not sticking at the moment for the man in orange you just need a little more precision and a lot more of the ball super touch by Leandrinho for Felipe Gomez Brazil are playing well here's Wesley back it goes to Fernandez and Leandrinho was just grabbed by your own set who's accumulated a couple of fouls there well, I understand he's frustrated, but that was a foul. This could be tough for Van Altena. Oh, no. Leandrinho, one of the Brazil side at their first Paralympic Games, five of the starting seven not competed at the games before Fernandez was in London when they were fourth it's only Marcao the goalkeeper who's won a medal before Wesley super first touch Leandrinho he's keeping them in the game Twelve attempts on goal, seven on target in the first. Not quite 16 minutes. Here they come again. Felipe Gomez, super skill. Felipe Gomez. More work for George Van Altena. Overtime for the Dutch goalkeeper. Fernandez. Nascimento towards Leandrinho. Mm. Struck it well enough. Long way out, but you can understand why he's confident. Di Maria did that nicely. Felipe Gomez keeping his head up, totally aware of what's going on around him. Well, 
little bit of pressure from Klein Lutebelt just forced her the wayward pass. And here he is, looking for your own set. That was a good ball in. It was early. That was the thing about it. And Fernandez had to make a quick decision. First Dutch corner. Can they threaten here? Mina De Vos with it. Well, it didn't stay long in the Brazil penalty area, did it? Klein Lutebelt. Another corner coming here. Might be inclined to take my time about this. But instead, they've gone quick and they've lost it. They've done a lot of chasing of the ball in the first 18 minutes. Now, what options has he got? Neatly done. Here's Conine. Up towards Dan Dicken. Set to Conine. This is comforting for the Dutch. And out to Klein Lutebelt. Conine continuing with the run. Drew the tackle from Felipe Gomez. And another Dutch corner. Now that was the best little spell for them in the match. Dear, oh dear. Yeah. Well, the head coach didn't really display the frustration, but when you take a corner like that, having worked so hard to get it, there's a certain carelessness about that that would have been hugely dispiriting I think for one or two of his teammates and now De Vos has taken his own frustration out with himself on Di Maria there Gomez, the short one is on here. Di Maria. That wasn't the worst ball. Brazil with a super fast pace start. Tempo has just come down a little bit. Huge number of chances in the opening 15 minutes. Could easily have had more than the one goal. But the Dutch just settling themselves. And starting at least to make it more of a contest. And get some possession inside Brazilian territory. Nicely worked between Klein Lutebelt, Sat and Dicken. Klein Lutebelt continued his run all the way across the field. Wanted handball but didn't get it. And now Wesley holding the ball up effectively for Brazil. Leandrinho with uh, Conine. Very close to the cross, and he was trying to get out the way. It's only the one goal that Brazil have scored. 
and I'm sure they'll be concentrating on how well they've played but the Netherlands will be feeling relieved and perhaps encouraged that it's uh, not a starker scoreline it's a good save by Van Altena once he judged that it was on target and he had to go down for it the key thing was to get it away from the onrushing striker it was curling wide but understandable why he decided to get the glove on it Nascimento Here's Wesley. Di Maria who's waiting out on the right-hand side. Felipe Gomez is uh, moving into the penalty area. Leandrinho. They were all crowding around the goalkeeper there, weren't they? Thinking about the rebound. Nascimento. Always rather Di Maria who's done brilliantly and then can't sneak it in at the near post lovely bit of skill saw there might have been a gap not quite wanted more of an option for a pass didn't he He'd had a good look actually and that stat you may just have seen it 18 attempts nine on target for Brazil none for the Netherlands nearly 25 minutes in but only one goal Netherlands nearly got in only one nil down at half time in their semi-final to Ukraine and conceded in added on time Fernandez Wesley making the run here's Leandrinho that's his eighth attempt of this first half he got the goal on 40 seconds Klein Luchterbelt Felipe Gomez was always struggling a bit there because Klein Luchterbelt was cutting across him Yeah, for a coach whose team has had so much of the ball and so many chances, Paulo Cabral in the Brazil camp is looking a little discomforted. Klein Lutebel, ooh! And it nearly ran for your own sat in front of goal there. Perhaps he could have got a touch on it. Well, out by Mensa. Best moment for the Netherlands by far. Fernandez up to Wesley. Well in by Mensa. Nascimento coming in. But all the exuberance with which they started is just starting to fade away somewhat for Brazil came out really determined well here's Felipe Gomez Conai rescued the situation Leandrinho was up well and Dickon just blocked him contesting the ball Dickon Leandrinho was a bit more determined there three minutes to half time they deserve a second really for the way they've played Nascimento to Felipe Gomez
Nothing wrong with that, really. Mensah is just tracking Wesley's run. It has to be close to him because he wants the ball into feet in the penalty box all the time. Nothing wrong with that at all. You've got to admire the resilience here of the Dutch team who have found a way back into this match when it looked impossible, frankly. Looked like Brazil could be out of sight long before half-time, but that's not the case. And steadily, with each pass, they're just getting into the game. Enough for us maybe to doubt the outcome. They're still second favourites, that's clear. But this is a Brazil team which has lost the bronze medal match in each of the last two Paralympic Games. Yes, they're getting encouraged enormously, but there's a bit of pressure on them. Leandrinho trying to get them going. He's been their best player throughout the tournament. Here's Fernandez. Oh, stepping forward a long way. The Dutch were hesitant in the extreme to close him down. Just have to be a little careful here. Mensa decided in the end it just had to go. Shimento took a risk with that pass as well, but they've got away with it. And it goes up to Wesley. Mensa coming out of the centre to pursue him. He's desperate to show willing, isn't he, Di Maria? Slid in for that ball when it was at least a, a metre over the goal line. Maybe a little bit of added on time, but not much. Mr. Barbisan says one minute. And the Netherlands will be hugely relieved to get in at half time, one nil down, if indeed they do. Can thank their goalkeeper for a number of fine saves. And they've had a little bit of good fortune as well. And they're not safely in the changing room yet. Here's Fernandez. Felipe Gomez wide to Di Maria. Wesley. The minute's up. Di Maria. Leandrinho. So nearly. He scored right at the beginning of the first half. And he nearly scored with the last kick of it. But as it is. This bronze medal match is still very much alive. Netherlands nil, Brazil one at half time. Well, he's been good again, but he can't believe he hasn't got more than the one goal. Leandrinho, nine attempts, four on target. Out of 20 for Brazil, 20 in half an hour. Totally dominant in every aspect, except the scoreline doesn't quite reflect it. Some calming words from the coach reinforce the message that they're doing everything they need to and the goals will come. And maybe they'll come out in the second half and win by several.
They can't fathom losing this match, can they, Brazil? They can't fathom leaving this tournament without a medal. <laughs> They're not worried. They're not worried. For all I'm painting this anxious picture. <laughs> They're significantly better than the Dutch. That's the bottom line. Sometimes in football, well, you don't get uh, the result given to you for that. Started so brightly, Brazil, didn't they? And to get that goal in 40 seconds, you really thought it was going to inspire them onto great things that the doubts would have been completely removed from uh, their minds. Just two days after losing the semi final so heavily to Iran, a match they thought they would win. But this was the way they began it Leandrinho, super turn and cracking finish. And they just began with the intensity and the creativity and the precision that their coach would have demanded of them. And uh, those Dutch faces after only seconds were looking rather concerned. Now Van Altena made a couple of saves to just say uh, steady the ship and he was tremendously busy. That was a bit of a mistake and Leandrinho from there should have added a second goal. That was the biggest chance apart from the goal. Leandrinho again, isn't it? He kept on trying to find a way through. That one was never really troubling the goalkeeper. Well, they should have more, but they have just the one. The second half will be fascinating. Can Brazil keep their nerve and take the bronze medal? We'll find out. Half time, they lead the Netherlands by one goal to nil.
So Brazil half an hour away here from the bronze medal, unless the Netherlands players like Nina de Vos can uh, find it within themselves to launch what appears an unlikely comeback. The Brazil supporters were heartbroken after the semi-final loss to Iran, which was heavy. But I think they'd be even more disappointed to lose this match and lose the bronze medal. Because I think they know deep down that they are a superior side to this Dutch team. But he could do something yet. He's the danger man. Will the party continue? I hope they stay for the final later between uh, Ukraine and Iran. It should be terrific. Ukraine have been favourites right from the start. But you never know. Brazil were favourites against the Iranian team as well and lost 5-0. game he's just hoping that maybe well, he's hoping first and foremost there'll be some opposition for the second half but he's hoping maybe that those those saves he's produced might just be the springboard for a comeback Undoubtedly, physical condition and strength comes into it here because this is the fifth game for both of these teams in uh, nine days. It's an intensive schedule. And if this is the first game you've seen of the Football 7 aside, you will realise just how stretched the field of play is, how big it is for seven players, and with no offside rule, there's no respite for defenders, really. These guys can run and run and run. Half an hour each way, yes, but each match is a serious examination. How much more work is he going to have to do? So will this be straightforward for Brazil? Will they get the goals in the second half that their dominance of the play in the first half deserved? Or will the Dutch launch the comeback to stun the Diodoro? Tavos and Sapp just closing down the space for Felipe Gomez, but this is Leandrinho. And this is Di Maria. Wesley's in front of goal. Now Klein Lutebelt for the Netherlands. Joey Mensah, the defender in his third Paralympic Games. Looking for the run of Dan Dicken. But here's Felipe Gomez. The crowd might like to see Vanderson the exciting attacking player that Brazil have got on the bench. But if they were to bring him on, they'd have to take Felipe Gomez off because they're both in the class eight. And Felipe Gomez has had a good game. Ignored Di Maria on the overlap, looked for Wesley. And apologised for overhitting it. Have to have one player 
from either the class five or the class six on the field at all times class five being the most impaired of the four classes Netherlands have actually got two with the goalkeeper Van Altena and uh, your own sat both in class six Wesley for Brazil is in class five again players and all of us watching just concentrate on the the attributes of the players but for the coaches that is something to bear in mind their substitutions and they've got three are limited by those rules DeVos with the ball in that wasn't too bad he asked Conine got close to it but here goes Leandrinho and he's still full of running Felipe Gomez in front Leandrinho only had eyes for goal. The next goal really will set the tone, won't it? If it goes to Brazil, you think maybe three or four. If it goes to the Netherlands, well, who knows? They're working hard to close down the options, the Dutch. He was grabbing the shirt of Leandrinho there. Well, that's that's gone the wrong way, hasn't it? I mean, I think Conine, although he was the ball carrier, was grabbing hold of the defender, and that's exactly right. It's it's gone the right way now. Brazil ball. Di Maria was left in a heap by the challenge. He's lucky he didn't make more serious contact there, Lars Conine. He was uh, pretty reckless with that, I think. That was fizzed in. Nascimento who hit it. Di Maria. Away from DeVos. Can he keep this in? Difficult to do too much with it. Ross persisting here. And Fernandez wanted to use the left side, and DeVos knew that. Didn't have much option. Players can roll the ball in from the throw in with just the one hand, or can throw it in with two hands behind the head, as in. 11 aside rules both are permitted one or two players in this competition have seriously good long throws as well there was the effort from Nascimento goals are two meters by five in size Leandrinho has a super pass Van Altena's out quickly though denying Fernandez. Conine. Well, that is a good pass too. Klein Luke to Belt. Well, if only his first touch hadn't been brighter. He might have been able to take that down and, and score. A 
Leandrino end to end. Conine in the way. They didn't really get a shot away from this, the Netherlands, but if that touch there were just if he'd just been able to roll to his left with that touch, everything was possible. Leandrino thought he had back up there. Di Maria, nice one too. Just still working hard to stay in this game. The chances aren't coming as quick or as fast or as clearly as they did in the first period. Leandrinho with the corner. It's simple enough for Van Altena. It's uncomplicated, but it might be effective. Klein Lutebelt. Reflection helped out Mark Howe in the end. <laughs> Leandrino away from Mensa and from Dickon. Mensa can't get there, and Leandrino is going to go all the way. No. Conine, the captain, with a goal-saving challenge. And the second goal won't come for Brazil. What a wonderful run. And he knew Wesley was waiting for a tap-in. Nascimento. Klein Lutebelt in the way. And the whistle had gone for a free kick against Brazil. Andrino is a super player. Just has to keep going. And surely the second goal will arrive for Brazil. Surely it will. Felipe Gomez. Wesley taking up that position in front of the goalkeeper. Come on. Here's Klein Lutebelt. It's not happened for him today. Is that a little nudge by Mensa? So it's Fernandez, a 37 year old defender. being brought off and Igor to replace him 17 years as junior it's run hard Fernandez got involved in an attacking sense as well Igor is listed as a defender but uh, he showed some silky skills in the in a semi-final match and there's more to him than, than just stopping opponents uh, attacks that's for sure Felipe Gomez oh and Leandrino was there and then Felipe Gomez I think he was trying to score from a tight angle and that wasn't a good ball DeVos got onto it and then gave it straight back. Yeah. 
Well, some in the Brazil camp are more concerned than others. The optimism might just be bubbling in Marcel Geisman. It's fairly late in the day, and Brazil are still within touching distance. Di Maria, Felipe Gomez making the run down the centre, and Wesley will surely look for him here. Oh, he, he didn't get it right, Wesley. It was a super run from Felipe Gomez. He'd come from a long way out to get there. He knew he was there. All the hard work for nothing. And it was his last effort, Felipe Gomez. He's given everything. And Vanderson at his third Paralympic Games, having finished fourth twice, comes on to try and seal a bronze medal for Brazil, which would be the first of his career. It's a brave move. It's a positive move from Paulo Cabral. And that was a rather desperate move by Joey Mensah. It was late and it was pretty hard on Vanderson. First caution of the game is for Mensa of the Netherlands. Yeah, welcome, Vanderson. Welcome. fouls just disrupting the rhythm here a bit Brazil trying to collect themselves Vanderson is clearly just going to get on the ball as much as he can wherever he can Leandrinho away from De Vos and from Mensa and from Sat and here's Vanderson it's going to be a corner Super run again from Leandrinho, which created all the space and it was fizzing towards the bottom corner. They were unlucky on two counts there, really. Oh, it's a good corner. And Nascimento came in. When will this second goal come? It's a real threat in the air. Good block by Van Altena, just a reaction. Seems like the substitution of Vanderson, his arrival has just given Brazil an extra spark here. Igor. Leandrinho, Wesley peeling into a wide position. Here's Igor now for Brazil. Leandrinho, one on one here with De Vos. Klein Lugtebelt got a, a boot to that. Last quarter of the game. And Brazilis things stand only one mistake away from the Netherlands getting back on terms. 29 attempts on goal Brazil have had now to one from the Dutch. They've mustered nothing in this second half yet. Now Wesley, Vanderson waiting in the middle. Is this the moment? Again, no.
Well, it's difficult for the Dutch themselves to be confident because the chances are coming so regularly. Must be more of a little hope than a belief. But Brazil are certainly wondering, is it really going to be our day? How is this game not won already? Mensa, that's useful. Good handling by Marcao. Well, poor old Dan Dickin was completely felled by that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good response. That's a good response. Oh dear, look at this. Crack. Well, he'll be frustrated because he obviously saw the chance of a useful counter-attack. And he seemed to have struck the, uh, the cross-field ball pretty well. It seemed fair enough to me after the drop ball that the ball went back to Brazil after what had happened and the way play had been stopped. Leandrinho, little bit of space. Igor outside on the left. Wesley's let it run. Igor, it did come off. Back to Leandrinho, options either side. He went for goal! And it's a second finally for Brazil. That man again. They kept on going. And finally, Leandrinho looks to have put Brazil on the podium. Lovely bit of skill by Igor. The cutback wasn't the most precise, but he made everything of it. Thumping finish. He saved so much, Van Altena. He's kept the Dutch in it for so long. But that was one too many. And after two fourth place finishes at the Paralympic Games, is this Football 7 aside team going to get itself a medal for Brazil? Is there anything the Dutch can do to respond here? Or are they going to leave the spaces now in chasing the game that will inevitably lead to further Brazilian goals? And now with that second goal in the bank. Painful blow though it may be for Brazil. They won't be sorry to take a few seconds out of the clock here. Super bit of skill by Igor, just created a little bit of chaos. But it was all about the finish, really. And I wonder if George Van Altena saw it late. Yeah, two defenders in front of him, and that was the problem. Now the crowd, if any, were starting to worry, are really getting into it. Jeroen Schreiters is going to come on for Dan Dicken here for the Netherlands. But whatever the changes that uh, Marcel Geisman makes, it's a, it's a huge ask 
for a Dutch side that, let's face it, has been completely outplayed. Igor just overran it. Nicely timed by Skytet. Calm pass up to DeVos. It was a little bit bobbly for DeVos to deal with, though. Now they've got men forward here for Klein Lutebelt. Can he pick the right pass? Vanderson steaming up the centre. And he's got it. Wesley. Can he put the seal on a Brazil victory? Not this time. Well, Vanderson is a real flyer. And the whole crowd could see that he was the player who needed the ball, the player who received the ball, was going to try and make something happen. Dutch free kick here and a small apology from the referee, I think, for not playing the advantage. Recognised to the Dutch players straight away that they actually did have the ball and weren't in a bad position. Seven minutes left. Well, that worked out well! And Skytert has got one back for the Dutch. It's a terrific finish. First time over Marcao. It's unlikely, but it's happened. And the bronze medal does not belong to Brazil yet. What a finish that is. First time falling away from goal. What an adjustment. It's a sensational goal. Klein Lutebelt hit that with a tremendous degree of power wasn't where he intended to put it and listen to the effect it's had to the crowd here he might have got a little bit lucky with the finish might have bounced up a little higher than his boot but still Great credit, great credit. Vanderson though, Mensa calmly in for the Netherlands. Leandrinho, Igor. They're gonna have to go and Make sure of it again. Wesley. Oh, George Van Altena got a little uncertain there. And Vanderson might nip in. And Leandrinho will! Surely this time it's over. A hat trick for Leandrinho in the bronze medal match. And it means everything to the host nation. He's the man. Hesitation from the goalkeeper. And it led to disaster. Vanderson just nipped in. The touch was supreme. He knew exactly that Leandrinho was waiting to finish. And that he did. And surely this time, that's where the story ends. What an outstanding game he's had. 
Six goals for the competition now. And now Vanderson. He's finding Wesley. Wesley is brave defending. But Vanderson again. Joint leading scorer now, Leandrinho, in the competition with Antoniuk of Ukraine. Nascimento. That's too long. Two and a half minutes left. He couldn't make the difference in the semi final to his enormous frustration. Had one cleared off the line before Iran had scored. That could have been so different. But you have to admire the response from Brazil. They were devastated after losing that semi-final. Frankly, more than the Dutch team were. Their expectations for this tournament were undoubtedly higher. But they have responded tremendously well. It's been positive from the outset. There have been moments of doubt. But they've come through. And I think... Nobody who'd watched this football seven-a-side competition would deny them their medal. Leandrinho. Igor. Oh, he's turned on the style here. Well, some thought it had cracked into the top corner, but it was wide and into the side netting. Well, they'd love a party piece here, just to finish everything off. But in truth, the work is now done. Zeka is going to come on for the last couple of minutes. Wesley's done a fine job. His Hall of Goals for the tournament stands at just the one. But he's constantly been dragging defenders into positions they did not want to go. And he's an intelligent player. And for Zeka, it'll almost certainly be his last appearance at the Paralympic Games. It's his fourth Games. The man who's just come on. The Dutch, yeah, they've, they've given everything today. They've given everything, but they know, they know Brazil have been far superior. In search of a final moment to cap it all off. Zeka, back to Igor. Mensa with the tackle. Vanderson, well in by Jeroen Sat. And Klein Lutebelt leading the charge here. It's a three on one. And that's a well played pass. And the touch by Guido Flores wasn't good enough. And they've kept on going. And the chances have been few and far between, but that was an awfully good one. Flaws to Klein Lutebelt and Conine and Skytert, he's got one goal and Klein Lutebelt and a great block back there sets Brazil away on the counter Vanderson held by Conine well I think Brazil the players would like to set up a goal for Zeka I think that's what is in their minds but they had to be careful there, and look what that meant to Di Maria. That's good to see. A definition of taking your defensive responsibility seriously.
Nascimento just wasn't entirely certain where the run was leading. Randerson may have a bit more conviction. Igor, beautifully done. Leandrino. Zeka is completely crowded out in the centre. Vanderson. Interception by Floors. Klein Lutebelt is after it. With every kick, they're getting closer to bronze. <laughs> and there's huge relief, isn't there? Huge relief. Every team embarks on a journey. But that of Brazil here at this Football 7 Aside event has been an emotional one, more emotional than most. Well, Zika did well. Vanderson, is there a final moment for Brazil here? Vanderson. George Van Altena, perhaps with the final say. It's over, and Brazil have the bronze. After dismay in the semi-final, they've bounced back in fine style. And after fourth place finishes in London and Beijing, relief all round that they're on the podium. It wasn't the colour they wanted, but it is a medal and the Dutch were outplayed. <laughs> Leandrinho, the hero with three goals for Brazil. Disappointment for the Dutch, but they're not disconsolate. Brazil outplayed them and are worthy of the bronze medal. 36 attempts on goal to the Netherlands four and victory for Brazil by three goals to one.